to Superfacto wagering six furlongs in distance. Fillers and mares, three year olds and up, now winners of two races lifetime. Things off. Devil Stevenson up on number one. Fast as you. Pink Cloud Racing owns. Courtney Ross trains. Number two. Pass the Gin Girl. Jill and Bill West own. Joe West trains. Orlando Foster on board. Number three. Garfield Gordon up on Flashy Gizmo. Randy McDonald owns. Darren Hayner trains. Number four. Sassy and Classy. Ellie Willerford owns and trains. Trevor Simpson rides. And number five is Win Win. Written by Laris Ellen. White Pine Ranch is owned. Elijah Bourne, your trainer. Number six, Auchinleck, Don and Darcy Hawks own. Molly Pizzo trains, Blanford Stewart rides, and Wanda Pango is on number seven, Danny's Ponty. Peter Fuller owns, Gail McConaughey trains, and number eight, Just Nuts. Colton Mead owns and trains, Oral Bennett rides. There is your field of eight, Phillies and Mares. And they're going to post in seven minutes, seven minutes to post. At the post for race number one, and they're off. On the inside out wall is fast as you up alongside past the gin girl now gunning out with some really speed. Sassy and classy up alongside of that win win outside from there is Ockham like there's your front group back from that flashy gizmo on the inside past the gin girl on the outside just nuts and Danny's Ponty is trailing and they are going a half mile to run now up front on the inside sassy and classy. And Trevor Simpson lead the field on the inside. Second is fast as you on the outside. Third, you've got Akinlek back from there in fourth place. It is win-win. Now several lengths back from there to Flashy Gizmo along with past the Gin Girl. Then is Danny's Ponty and trilling is just nuts. As we approach the final turn, Sassy and Classy is still there but coming with some run now. Fast as you, looking dangerous, several lengths back from there to everybody else. It's a two-horse race right now. Around the final turn they come, and uh, down the stretch, and Sassy and Classy is heading for home. Fast as you, chasing from second, late run from third, from past the Gin Girl. But as they approach the wire, Sassy and Classy is going to hang on four for second. And we'll say congratulations to the winning connections in race one, number four, Sassy and Classy, ridden to victory by Trevor Simpson, Ellie Rutherford owns and trains. And here are your prices. Number four, Sassy and Classy, $17 to win. Four fifty place, two eighty show, and second number one, fast as you, two eighty place, two thirty show, and number two, pass the gin girl, three dollars a show. Four one two all, six hundred and thirty three dollars and ten cents on a one dollar super factor. Four one two all. Two dollar exactor, forty dollars and twenty cents, and a two dollar triactor is one fifty eight forty.
who does kick off the Daily Double. Alberta Stakes Race Action, three-year-old fillies, two scratches, scratch number one. Back in a flash, and number five, Miss Watson. Fucking Tiosk. And leading things off, number two, Unified Hearts, Neville Stevenson on board, Pink Cloud Racing and Gail Stable's own, Courtney Ross trains, number three, Wild Star, Godfrey Weaselhead owns and trains, Jose Rocha rides. Number four, Oil Bennett's up on Ganga Baby, Joseph Calf and Ashford McMaster owns, Sean Calf Robe trains, fives a scratch. Number six, Maxi, Jim Juris owns, Ron Scott trains, Orlando Foster the rider. Number seven, I Italian. Laris Allen rides, Rocky Mountain Turf Club's table's own, Wild Madison, your trainer. And number eight, She's For Real, written by Trevor Simpson. Gary Marks owns and trains. There's your abbreviated field of six. Going six furlongs, or five furlongs, rather, in seven minutes. Seven minutes to post. Just walking in right now. We're loaded and at the post for race two. They're off. On the inside, Unified Hearts out well alongside that wild star. Now center of the track, Gonga Baby. Right up alongside Maxi. Out from there, uh, Italian far outside. She's for real. They all coming for this one. On the outside, she's for real and I, Italian. Inside from there, you've got Maxi. There's your front three abreast. Fourth on the inside, saving some ground. It's Ganga Baby. Coming along with that, it's Unified Hearts and Trailing is Wild Star up front now, breaking away. It's Maxi with the lead. On the outside, she's for real now, fights back, dropping way back fast. I, Italian, now moving up third. You've got Unified Hearts putting on a rally, trying to regroup now. It's I, Italian. And back from there it is a Ganga Baby along with Wild Star, who's now beginning to pick up the pace. Up front, Maxi continues to lead. Now on the inside, Unified Hearts looking for a hole. Unified Hearts found a hole in the rail and took advantage of it. Around the final turn, they come in down the stretch, and Unified Hearts is heading for home. Second place right now belongs to She's For Real. Trying to come back is Maxi, but this one belongs to Unified Hearts, to 687. And we'll say congratulations to the winning connections in the Alberta Bread 3 0 Philly Stakes race. Number two, Unified Hearts, ridden to victory by Neville Stevenson. Pink Cloud Racing and Gail Stable's own Courtney Ross, your trainer. Prices number two, Unified Hearts, 1240 win, 390 place, 220 show. And second, number six, Maxi, 430 place, 250 show. And number eight, She's for Real, 210 to show. 76.25 on a $1 super factor. $2 exactor, 48.90, and a $2 try, 58.70. Looking ahead to race number three, there's one scratch. Scratch number two, Fury in the Wind. 
Scratch number two, Fury in the Wind. And race three along with number five, Make Our Day. Make Our Day is a scratch as well in race number three. Talent on board, Rocky Mountain Turf Club's table zone. Well, Magnus is, is your trainer. Number two is a scratch, and number three, Dietmar. Wana Pango on board, Ron and Regina Olson own, Ron Olson trains. And number four, Bolzer at Esquiro owns, Courtney Ross trains, Neville Stevenson the jock. Number five is a scratch. Number six, Irish Era, ridden by Trevor Simpson, Lyle Magnus and owns and trains. And number seven, Pulpit Show, Todd David owns, Nellie Pijo trains. Well, I'm for Stewart the Jock. There is your abbreviated field of five horses going to post in eight minutes. Eight minutes to post. Yet. Puppet Show is in, and we are loaded in at the post. Little Red Brother fractious in the gate, now settles down. And they're off. Out on the inside it is Little Red Brother, right alongside of that Dightmoir. Center of the track for Bozer, on the outside from there is Puppet Show, right on the inside, Dightmoir. Trailing the field and nearly going. It is Irish era. We've got four up front all battling for the lead. On the inside, Little Red Brother. On the outside, Pulpit Show. In between horses, Bozer. Third, fourth place belongs to Dight Moran. Still trailing is Irish era. Around that turn, they go up front. A Little Red Brother and Larry Song on the try go all the way now. Puppet Show and Blanford Stewart right there on the flank. And third place stocking is Dight Moran. Back from there, you've got Bozer. And still trailing is Irish era. Up front, this is a battle with the lead. It's Little Red Brother, but on the inside, Dightmoir and a Pango make a move and take over the lead. Out from there on the outside is Pulpit Show. Now coming as well, Bozer trying to regroup with some run. Run that final turn, they come. And uh, down the stretch, and it is Dightmoir along with Bozer. Bozer now takes over the lead. Dightmoir trying to fight back from second as they approach the wire. This one belongs to Bozer. 
Dayton Moore for a second. And here are your prices. Number four, Bozer, 390 win. 280 plays, 210 show. And second, number three, Dightmore, big effort. 420 plays, $3 show. And number six, Irish Era, 310 to show. $2 exactor, 1840. $2 try, 3280. $1 super factor, 4460.
Number three is Swift, Sally Swift. I'll go to number two first. Number two is Capelli. Helen Reynolds, Darcy Peterson, Gary Marks, Trains, Trevor Simpson, Rise. Now number three. Swift, Sally Swift, written by Orlando Foster. Kyle Peacock owns Nelly Peugeot Trains. Number four is Soxy Lady, written by Laris Ellen, Rocky Mountain Turf Club Stables own, Law Madison, your trainer. Number five, Bravo Wilco, Pink Cloud Racing owns, Courtney Ross Trains, Neville Stevenson Rides, Bravo Wilco. And number six, Little Lottie, Ellen Brown owns and trains, Nicholas Patrick on board. Uh, there's your field of six, Alberta Bread. Phillies and Mares going five and a half furlongs. Post time, six minutes, six minutes to post. And little Lonnie steps in. We're loaded and at the post for race four. And they're off on the inside. Lady Amelia out well. Capelli trying to keep up. Center of the track, Soxy Lady. Outside of that is Bravo Wilco. Tucked back inside, Swift Sally Swift saving some ground. And on the outside, a little Lottie in the early going. Half mile to run now with the lead. It is Capelli right there in second. Lady Amelia, these two lock up. Then it's going to be a little Lottie on the outside. Third. Inside from there, it's Swift, Sally Swift. Then you've got Bravo, Wilco, and trilling the field. Soxy Lady around to go into the straightaway now with the lead. Capelli and Simpson taking uh, no prisoners. In second place, it is a Lady Amelia. Third on the outside for a little Lottie. Fourth on the inside, Swift, Sally Swift. Four legs back from there to Bravo, Wilco. Another four back to Soxy Lady up front, rolling along nicely still. Capelli with the lead. Lady Amelia preparing to strike. It's a two-horse battle right now. Around the final turn they come. And they're down the stretch. And Capelli is heading for home. Lady Amelia is chasing from second. Capelli and Lady Amelia battling this one out as they approach the wire. This one belongs to Capelli. Two, one, three. And we'll say congratulations to the winning connections of the Alberta Bread Phillies and Mayor Stakes Race number two, Capelli. Ridden to victory by Trevor Simpson, Helen Wells, and Darcy Peterson on Gary Marks Trains. Gary Marks had the exact during that race from a training end of things. Prices number two Capelli, six seventy win, three ten place two thirty show. And second number one, Lady Amelia, three dollars place two twenty show. And number three, Swift Sally Swift paid three eighty to show. One dollar super factor forty one seventy. Dollar exactor eleven sixty, two dollar try forty eight forty.
Kicking things off, number one is Sure and Fancy, Ryan Nelson, now the jock, Darling and Ron Owens, Les Adams, your trainer. Number two, Holler at the Moon, Nicholas Patrick on board, Rick and Clayton Weiss and Cranky Acre Stable Zone, Alan Brown trains. Number three, Chart Petty, Bruce Fenton knows, Nelly Pijo trains, Orlando Foster on board, number four is a scratch. Number five, Phil Power, Leonard and Bessie Bourne own, Elijah Bourne trains, Trevor Simpson, the jockey. Number six, Stumpinator, ridden by Jose Rocha, Ron and Regine Olson own, Ron Olson trains, and number seven, why not live? Blind for Stewart up. Bruce Fenton owns. Nally Peugeot trains. There is your abbreviated field of six. Going to post in seven minutes. Seven minutes of post. Why not live steps in number two, hollow out the moon. The low last and is now in. And they're off on the inside, sure and fancy, along with Holler Out the Moon toward the center of the track, Char Petty. On the outside, why not live comes up to join the fray back from their fill power and trailing in the early going. It's stumping it up front with the lead and a half mile to go. Holler out the moon is cruising along in second place. Why not live? Bunch of horses after that on the inside. Sure and Fancy gets the worst of that exchange. Also coming up the inside now, Char Petty in second, third on the outside. Why not live? Taking the overlander out. It is. Stumpinator now comes rolling along to get up into third place. Four lengths back to Sure and Fancy along with Phil Power, but all by himself. Hollow at the moon is cruising along right now. In second place, Char Petty on the inside, on the outside of that. Why not live? Stumping it up there as well. As they approach the final turn, it is all. Hollow at the moon right now, and down the stretch comes Hollow at the moon. Chasing now, it's uh, why not live from second. Why not live? Closing ground fast on Hollow at the moon. Why not live? Oh, close, but no cigar, 2-7. Sure and Fancy is a claim of foul on the first turn as well, so do hold all tickets.
Chem Villiers. The call of the post for race six, Alberta Bread Stakes, Phillies and Mares. Stretching things out, seven furlongs in distance. Exactor, Triactor, Super Factor wagering. Full field of eight. Things off. Number one is Old Dogs and Children, Bruce Fetton owns Nolly Peugeot Trains, Blanford Stewart Rise. Number two, Almost 90, Lenham Reynolds and Trains, Ryan Nelson on board. And number three, Orlando Foster Rise, Pegasus 101. Jermaine Wiles owns Joe West Trains. Number four, Teen's Best Wilco, Trevor Simpson up, Gordon Howe owns Gary Marks Trains. Number five, Catwalk Queen, Max Gibbon, Bruce Island should own Ellison Clapton Trains, Antonio Larios, your rider. Number six, Wilco's Comic Strip, Rocky Mountain Trip Club Stables own Godfrey Weaselhead Trains, Laris Allen the Jock. Number seven, Moz Miracle Run, Colton Mead owns and trains, Neville Stevenson on board, and number eight, Dance Mariah. Calvin Strandquist owns and trains, Oral Bennett, your jockey, there's your field of eight. Going to post in five minutes, five minutes to post. Low is late and they are loaded and at the post. Cool. And uh, they're off out with the early speed. It's going to be Tegan's best. Wilco jumps up front. Wilco's comic strip on the outside. Then it is almost 90 inside trip for old dogs and children saving some ground. Then it's Pegasus 101. Out from there is Ma's Miracle Run. Far outside, Dance Mariah trailing in the early going. It's Catwalk Queen up front. Tegan's best. Wilco with the lead right there. Wilco's comic strip. Not going away down the stretch for the first time. Coming up as well now is Ma's Miracle Run inside from there. Old Dogs and Children on the inside of that. Pegasus 101 on the outside, almost 90. Along with Das Mariah and still trailing is Catwalk Queen up front. Teens. Best, Wilco with a four-length lead now putting away Wilco's comic strip. Another four lengths back to Old Dogs and Children on the outside of that. Dance Mariah now coming up the inside. Pegasus 101 with some late run. But as they approach the final turn, this one's all Tegan's best. Wilco right now with a seven, eight-length lead in second place. It's Wilco's comic strip. In third, you've got Pegasus 101 back from there. Old Dogs and Children on that final turn. And down the stretch in Tegan's best Wilco. Oh, by herself right now. Substantial lead. This battle's going to be for second because Tegan's best Wilco picks it up. Hanging on for second place, it is Wilco's comic strip.
Well, say congratulations to the unofficial winning connections in race six, number four, Tegan's Best Wilco, Ridden Gate to Wire by Trevor Simpson, Gordon Howe Gollins, Gary Marks, your trainer. Price is number four, Tiggins Best, Wilco, 280 win, 220 place, 210 show, and second number six, Wilco's Comic Strip, 370 place, 260 show, and number three, Pegasus, 101 pays, 250 show. One dollar super factor, $168 even, two dollar exactor, 770, two dollar try, 2120. Number one is Captain Will, Trevor Simpson on board, Jim DePew owns and trains. Number two, Italian by marriage, written by Neville Stevenson. Bill West owns, Jill West, your trainer. Number three, Year of the Mall, Len Hambly owns and trains, Orlando Foster, your rider. Number four, Smart as Attack, Jose Roach up, Clinton Tom Rycroft owns, Clinton Rycroft trains. Number five, John's Quest, Travis Robson owns, Gail McConaughey trains. Number six, Swift Arrow. Don Evans, Bruce Appleyard on, Terry Landaker trains, Antonio Laros in the Irons. Number seven, Eagle Rascal, Carol Brown owns, John Brown trains, Nicholas Patrick the Jock. And number eight, Larry Salon up on Major Moment, Jacqueline Smith owns, Lyle Magnuson trains. Uh, that is your field of eight. Going to post in five minutes. Five minutes to post.
Well, your number seven, you the rascal, and number eight, major moment. We'll be good to go. The rascal, a reluctant loader. Number eight, major moment, and we're good to go. They are loaded in Athapos for race seven, and they're off. Out with the early speed, Swift Arrow jumps out on the inside of that. Captain Will up the inside, Smarr's attack, far outside, Major Moment. John's Quest is in there, inside from there. A year of the mile outside of that, Regal Rascal, and trailing is Italian by marriage. And they're really going up front. Captain Will's in a battle. He's got Swift Arrow right there on the outside. Smarr's attack rolling around in third. John's Quest up for fourth. Back from there on the outside, Major Moment. And then inside from there is Year of the Ma, followed by Regal Rascal. And trailing is Italian by marriage up front now. Half mile to run with the lead. It's going to be Captain. Do well, cruising along nicely. Second place belongs to Smarta's attack. And back from there, you've got Swift Arrow coming against Wild John's Quest now, trying to move up into third. Back from there is E of the Mob. Then you've got Captain Will outside of that. Then it is Regal Rascal and trailing badly is Italian by marriage. Up front now, trying to run away with it. Captain Will is cruising along in second place. Samara's attack, just like they forecast. Then you've got Year of the Ma up for third. John's Quest back to fourth. Coming late is Major Moment as well. Around that final turn, they come in down the stretch, and Captain Will is heading for home. Captain Will is going to win this one. Going away, Captain Will picks it up. Second place belongs to Smarr's attack. Unofficial top four, one, four, three, five. One, four, three, five. Unofficial top four. And we've got a very special guest in the winner's circle. Mary Sullivan back. Happy 90th birthday to an amazing woman. Mary, all your friends and family have just love you and adore you for all those wonderful things you do. So happy birthday. Mary, hope it's a great one for you. And we'll say congratulations to the official winning connections in this Alberta Bread Stakes race. Number one, Captain Will, owned and trained by Jim DePew, ridden to victory by Trevor Simpson. Price is number one, Captain Will. 360 win, 270 place, 260 show. Number four, Smarr's Attack. 260 place, 260 show. Number three, Year of the Ma, 780 show. One dollar, Super Factor, 8880. Pick three, three of three, 1460. Two dollar, Exactor, 620. Two dollar, Try, uh, 2970. And don't forget, live racing action resumes tomorrow. Post time, 115. Eight great live races on the card for you tomorrow.